Okay, sixth grade, lesson 103. This is on the perimeter of complex shapes. Okay, now, what is perimeter? The area around... Not area, the no. distance. The distance around an object. Very good, the distance around a shape. So if I had a rectangle, five plus two plus five plus two, we'd add up all of these to get the perimeter. Right? Now we're doing perimeter of complex shapes. Complex meaning more difficult. So, let me draw a picture. Okay. This one says four centimeters, seven centimeters, six centimeters, three centimeters. Okay? But we don't know this one, which we're going to label A. And we don't know this one, which we're going to label B. See that? Okay. So, do you think there's a way I can discover what A and what B are by looking at this? Yes. Yes, there is. Okay, the best way, let's look at A first. The best way to discover what A is is, well, let's look at the line that's parallel to it. Six, right? Yeah. Okay, you see that? That whole thing is six. Okay? Now let's look at another line that's parallel to it. Four. So, from here to here is four, so from here to here would be four. Mm -hmm. Okay? And if this whole thing is six, what is from here to here? What do you mean? Oh, um, four? No, Wait, don't guess. Mean? Three. No, four plus what equals the whole part being six? Three. Two. Two. Okay? Now, it may be confusing because... This is longer and this is four right here. And yeah. It looks like this should be four too, but I'm just not drawing perfectly. Yeah. Okay, so do you get why I put a two here and a four here? Yes. Okay, because this whole thing is six, right? Okay, and if this portion from here to here is four, then we know that that's two. So if from here to here is two, then what is here to here? Two. Two, very good. So we did a good job of discovering that. Okay, now let's do B. So what should seven I, and three. Okay, so we know that from here to here is seven. Okay, so we know from here to here is three. So B is four. So this is four, which would this would be four too. Good job. See how you made that just by um, looking at different objects and yeah. discovering it? So it's always important that if you're doing this kind of line, you're looking at these kinds of lines parallel to it. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, good job. Now, if I were to find the perimeter of this figure now, I'm going to erase all our extras, okay? I have a 4, a 7, a 6, a 3, a 2, a 4. So if I added that up, 7 and 4 is 11, plus 6 is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 centimeters would be my perimeter for that figure. Got it? Yep. Okay. Let's do another one. This one I want you to do on your paper, and then we're going to walk through it. And this one I try to draw better. Okay, it says 8 inches, 4 inches, 10 inches, 2 inches. But we don't know M or N. Now, we can name it any letter, but they chose M and N. Okay? So, can I discover what M is? Yes. Okay, how? Uh, you, 10. Uh-huh. From here, and all the way here four. is 10. From here to here is 4. So, from here to here would be 4. And that would be 6, I think. 6, yep. Yeah. And 6. Very good. Okay? 8... So this is eight, all of this from here all the way down to here. Okay, if this portion is two, then this portion is two. And if this whole thing is eight, uh, what is this small portion right here? Six. Very good. Good. Okay, you see how we did that? Yeah. Now we're gonna answer it. 10 plus eight, 18, 19, 20, 26, 
32, 36. Total, 36 inches. We added all those together. Now you can add them in any order, eight plus four, then plus 10, then plus two, then plus six, however you want to do it. But you, you'll eventually get the same answer. Got it? Mm-hmm. Okay, that is lesson 103.